The number one is Keter Masterloader. The Keter Masterloader features rear wheels and an extendable handle for convenient portability around a garage or from your workshop to a job site. The large main bin is ideal for bulkier items, while the upper trays can be used for small hardware. The price is around $73, check out the product link in the YouTube description below. The average rating of this product is 4.5 stars with more than 252 customer reviews, a customer said. It fits way more than I thought so videos to that, and I love the organization of the top compartments. But the lock is kinda a joke. The lock is a twist handle with a very small hole so you have to get an old-fashioned padlock with a U-bar. So first off, easily cut off, but you won't need to all you need to do to get into it is give it a half-committed stop and crack the thin clear plastic doors that hold the turn handle. Also to close it even you have to slide the sides together and line up eight taps on each of the top covers then somehow turn the knob to latch it. Worked great when it was empty but once heavy and full wasn't easy to line up or keep together. Gravity kept pulling the sides apart on the tracks. I'm happy with it because it hold my stuff, but it mostly lays half open and the lids popped which annoyed my OCD. And I will be upgrading as soon as I can afford it. Another happy customer said. I like the way it slides open and I don't have to you latch or remove other boxes like other tool brands that have them all stack on top of each other. This tool box is great easy access to small nuts and bolts I can store wrenches and sockets in the other slide out drawer and the bottom part that is exposed when both drawers slide apart is big enough for my impact gun my impact socket set and my drill and driver combo kit and still has room for a few more things. I do not have a garage I have a shed and this is a great option for keeping my most used tools in one spot on wheels to roll out to my truck or trailer or anything with wheels I have in my driveway without having to search for them I can grab this and go saves me time hassle I will see how long it holds up bit so far for $50 I would buy it Aegean and IT has a 5 year warranty which was a bonus that I did not k how it offered. An unhappy customer said, Cheap doesn't hold much weight already cracked but then the couple like a week of having it really disappointed wouldn't recommend it if you're into construction got it for my boyfriend had it less than a week and it's already cracked on the side does it hold up if your construction worker your weekend worker and just working around the house maybe it'd be all right but if you're me and does any kind of real work in any kind of working that he needs to have his tools with them when it hold up scrap really disappointed. The number two is Bucket Boss Bucket Ear. The Bucket Boss Bucket Ear is an ideal way to keep tools close at hand for common household DIY projects or gardening. It fits over almost any 5 gallon pail and features 30 pockets in various sizes to accommodate all the essentials you'll need for any job. This product is available on Amazon for $17, check out the link in the YouTube description below. There are 1699 reviews which average rating is 4.8 stars for this product, a customer said. Simple and very effective. I've got a number of DIY projects going on at the house and this item has been indispensable. I threw it on an excess 5 gallon bucket stretched it on nice snug fit and started filling it up. It's great being able to throw in dang near all the extra little items needed for numerous repairs and carry it from one work site to another. When used in conjunction with my tool belt or tool vest other than the actual bulky power tools needed for the job, all the other ancillary extra tidbits can fit in here and that really makes life easier smiley face. The material is very durable and the pockets are numerous. 
My biggest complaint is that the split should have been deeper to allow for more of the bucket boss to slip down over the bucket, thus the reason for 4.5 stars. But as is, it fits rather nicely and during my projects this newly acquired accessory sees daily use. The loops and pockets that line the portion which stays inside the bucket are pretty ingenious too. All in all a great all-around assistant for Carrie, holding on to all those items that usually get dragged on and off the work. Another happy customer said. After throwing out my garden tools for the third time because I would put them in the bucket with the clippings and then empty the bucket forgetting that they were in there this makes a huge difference. I love it the only thing that I would have liked to have seen would be that the pockets would be wider and perhaps deeper but I will use a bungee to keep the taller instruments I I and the pockets and I think I'm going to see if I can open the stitching to widen some of the compartments but it's a great idea and it's so well made. The next product in our list is Rubbermaid Deluxe Tower. The Rubbermaid Deluxe Tower is the ultimate storage solution for holding up to 40 long-handled items, such as rakes and light bulb changers. It features four casters on the bottom for effortless portability, two of which lock when you need it to remain stationary. The price is around $45, check out the product link in the YouTube description below. This product is rated with 4.3 stars from 3,694 customer reviews, a customer said. I would like to start by dispelling the impression that just because these are plastic that they are flimsy. Like anything, how suited something is for you is entirely dependent on how you plan to use it. Because of the design of inserting items with long handles like brooms upside down I think it is entirely adequate for the task. If your intent is to use it for heavy garden tools like shovels, axes, pitchforks, etc. then no, this wouldn't be the right product and I wouldn't expect to find something rugged enough for under 30 bucks, that just wouldn't be reasonable. I am fortunate that my new house has a very nice combination workshop and storage shed right outside the back door. That is such a better setup for me that using my garage for such things like I did in my old house. The shed is larger than average and I am retrofitting it to maximize the usefulness of every square inch of it. One wonderful luxury for me is it has a corner that is perfect to store all of my brooms, mops and vacuums and related cleaning products instead of them cluttering my kitchen or laundry room. Another happy customer said, Does the job. If you're concerned about it tipping over just shoot a screw into the underside of the top shelf and attach to the wall. It definitely looks better than it did. The other reviews are valid but in the end it's a rack that holds some brooms, shovels and other things. It doesn't need to be made out of titanium. If you need it, do it. Five pieces. You can put it together in less than a minute. An unhappy customer said. I purchased this Rubbermaid tool tower last November after we moved into our house. It seemed like the right solution for our garden tools, since there wasn't going to be room in the garage to have them hang on the wall. I loaded it up with garden tools, as it boasts that it holds up to 40 tools. It must have been happening for a while, but I just noticed that the whole unit listing badly to the right. Apparently the cumulative weight of all the tools has fatigued the plastic supports. This unit is garbage. Don't waste your money on it. It's probably good if you use it for plastic rakes and plastic snow shovels and maybe plastic knives and forks. But for real garden tools, it's useless. I should also report that the casters under it are pretty cheap and didn't work that well when it was new out of the box. 
the problem is I have had it too long and can't return it for a refund so I'm stuck with it, while I look for an alternative solution. I may have to build a homemade support out of 2x FAS and just use the top. The number 4. ML Tools Pliers Cutters Pro the ML Tools Pliers Cutters Pro is available as a single or double pack to meet your storage needs. It holds 10 small items in an upright position, so you'll never have to rummage through a messy drawer again. The non-slip rubber base keeps it from sliding around. This product is available on Amazon for $17. This product has average 4.6 stars from more than 410 customer reviews, a customer said. I like my toolbox to be extremely organized so I know exactly where everything is at, but my plier drawer was getting so full I was about to have to use another drawer if I wanted everything laid out nice and neat. I saw these and decided to try them out and absolutely love them. The two pack fit perfectly in my box and freed up tons of space for other pliers if I ever need it. It pretty much doubled the room I had in that drawer. It stays in place and doesn't slide around at all. I feel like it might be tad overpriced since it's just plastic dividers but they are made in the US and it does work very well so I really can't complain too much after the amount of extra room it gave me. Measure the depth of your toolbox drawer before ordering to make sure these won't be too tall. Overall it's a very nice and effective product that I would buy again. Another happy customer said, This item was a little tall for my 3 inches husky drawer and required a bit of modification. I used my stationary belt sander to grind, sand about 1 8 of an inch off the top of the dividers and it worked great. In spite of the extra work I give this item a full 5 stars. It's engineered and made very well and it does the job it's designed to do. I'm glad I chose this version because the quality is good and because I got back more than half of the tool drawer for other items. One of the best toolbox organization items I've ever bought. The next product is Rubbermaid Corner Rack. If you own a lot of stuff, but are tight on space, the Rubbermaid Corner Rack is your best bet. It's heavy-duty, wide base remains stable most of the time, but there are built-in holes to secure it to the wall for added peace of mind. This product is available on Amazon for $26, check out the link in the YouTube description below. The average rating of this product is 4.3 stars with more than 3,694 customer reviews, a customer said. I would like to start by dispelling the impression that just because these are plastic that they are flimsy. Like anything, how suited something is for you is entirely dependent on how you plan to use it. Because of the design of inserting items with long handles like brooms upside down I think it is entirely adequate for the task. If your intent is to use it for heavy garden tools like shovels, axes, pitchforks, etc. then no, this wouldn't be the right product, and I wouldn't expect to find something rugged enough for under 30 bucks, that just wouldn't be reasonable. I am fortunate that my new house has a very nice combination workshop and storage shed right outside the back door. That is such a better setup for me that using my garage for such things like I did in my old house. The shed is larger than average and I am retrofitting it to maximize the usefulness of every square inch of it. One wonderful luxury for me is it has a corner that is perfect to store all of my brooms, mops and vacuums and related cleaning products instead of them cluttering my kitchen or laundry room. Another happy customer said, Does the job. 
If you're concerned about it tipping over just shoot a screw into the underside of the top shelf and attach to the wall. It definitely looks better than it did. The other reviews are valid but in the end it's a rack that holds some brooms, shovels and other things. It doesn't need to be made out of titanium. If you need it, do it. 5 pieces. You can put it together in less than a minute. An unhappy customer said. I purchased this Rubbermaid tool tower last November after we moved into our house. It seemed like the right solution for our garden tools, since there wasn't going to be room in the garage to have them hang on the wall. I loaded it up with garden tools, as it boasts that it holds up to 40 tools. It must have been happening for a while, but I just noticed that the whole unit listing badly to the right. Apparently the cumulative weight of all the tools has fatigued the plastic supports. This unit is garbage. Don't waste your money on it. It's probably good if you use it for plastic rakes and plastic snow shovels and maybe plastic knives and forks. But for real garden tools, it's useless. I should also report that the casters under it are pretty cheap and didn't work that well when it was new out of the box. The problem is I have had it too long and can't return it for a refund so I'm stuck with it, while I look for an alternative solution. I may have to build a home-made support out of 2x FAS and just use the top. Thanks for watching and hope you liked it. As always, all the links about the products will be in the description below, so if you want to find the best prices, and more information that we might not get a chance to mention in the video, be sure to check them out.